Hey guys, J Michael8787 here on Twitter, J Squared Cards, and more on Facebook. Please go ahead and like. If you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be working on new videos every week. Uh, the channel is slowly growing, which is nice, um, but it's obviously not where I want it to be. But um, I really enjoy doing the videos, um, it gives me something to do. Um, so, what you're looking at here um, is one part of a, a large purchase I made here Sunday at the Sheffield Lake Card Show, Sheffield Lake, Ohio. Um, it's a small card show, but it, it's nice. It's about 10, 10 to 15 tables. Um, if, if I had to count the dealers there, I would say probably eight, but most people had two to three tables each. Um, so it it was a nice show for buying um, and just kind of less uh, less stressful than you know going through a couple hundred people in a, in a crowd crowded room um, so it was a nice show it's uh, on the shore of Lake Erie literally um, on Twitter I posted a picture of the purchases I made in, in the trunk of our car and literally Lake Erie is right there in the background there's a there's a park next to it also so literally if you have a small family or a family you want to take the wife and kids look around at cards for an hour they can play at that park and go to the uh, lake and take a walk on the uh, beach, per se. Um, <laughs> so, this is the, the first video I wanted to do is just the Jordan stuff because it wasn't part of any set deal, per se. Everything else I had was, was big lots that I bought off of my friends and dealers that I know. Um, so these were all ended up being a dollar each. Some of these probably would would have been more otherwise, but I did have him look at all of them too, just to make sure he was okay with the price. There was one card in here that you'll see at the very end that I was like, this shouldn't be in here. Um, but he said it did have some damage, but even with the damage, it definitely was a, was a very nice purchase. Um, alrighty, so let's get started here. So we got Skybox, some more Skybox, Clear Ultra, some sort of retirement special card that they had, um, upper deck. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but if you look at it, um, it's not the electric diamond, but it has the same holographic uh, foil, diamond-like foil um, on the lettering and, and all, everything like that. Um, so then we have Ultimate Victory. A few Jordan predictors in here, which those are nice cards for that price. Uh, Fleer Ultra Jordan, Skybox, more predictors, Fleer, and this isn't an insert, it's kind of like, it's kind of designed like an insert, um, but it's just the base uh, set, basically, number 323. Another victory, uh, all the predictors he had at a dollar I bought, that I saw at least, I don't know what was there before me. Because um, I I actually didn't get to the show till 9.15. It started at 9. We got more Jordan here, of course. Well, this is all Jordan, so I shouldn't say more, but you know what I mean. Skybox. Clear. Skybox. Oops. Um, you know, for a dollar. Not a bad buy. Some of these cards that are worth a little bit more might have some minor condition flaws, but for a dollar, the, the worst I'll do on it is double my money, I'd say. Tops. Clear. And that's the uh, gold border slam dunk card. The little guy is not happy with me, but it's a short video, so he will uh, he'll be alright. He's just hanging out. Clear Ultra. Skylights Upper Deck, uh, Silver Script with the uh, facsimile signature MVP, uh, more 89 Hoops, Skybox, more Predictors, Top Stars, Fleer Ultra. Um, that one does have, uh, like a lot of those cards in that set, uh, no matter what sport it was, they usually had some chipping around the borders, um, and of course if you let those things stick together for too long they would peel off the top layer of the card when he tried taking them apart. Um, this one here is, uh, it's another base set card, but it's kind of like a, I don't know what to, how to, how to explain it. Basically like a insert-like card, but it's not really an insert card. 
with the Wizards. More 89 hoops. Um, you know, that 89 hoops, at, at the time, I think that card was getting $10 to $15 when the, when the big craze of the documentary took over. But now it's like a $2 to $3 card. Tops. So I think we are starting to get into some of the little bit better stuff here. Um, I haven't looked up what this one's went for, but um, it's a nice card. Um, that's that's at least two to three dollars. More of these. You know, those are a couple bucks each at least. Triple double. Starting to get into a little bit better. Some of these do have uh, some condition flaws. So here we have a, an example: '89 Fleer. Um, it's not in great shape, but for for a dollar. Um, you can't beat it. Um, that writing is on the top loader also. Um, but here's an example. If the camera will do it justice, let's see. No, it doesn't. The camera doesn't want to play nice. Um, but uh, basically. It, it has some, you know, it's just kind of, it's not, this is not grade worthy. Let's just put it that way. It's not a bad card raw. But there's going to be, oh, oh God. Of course we can't edit videos because I don't know how to do that, nor do I have the software for it. So you got to sneeze in this video. It's an added bonus. <laughs> um, gosh. I, so... I don't want to give away the last card just yet. Um, so, anyways, like I said, that one, you know, it's it's a good dollar buy. That's a five to ten dollar card. So I bought one of these off of him last time for ten or fifteen dollars. Um, this one, I'm assuming he put it in the dollar box because it's not in great shape. But for an '88 Fleer uh, superstar sticker of Jordan for a dollar, who wouldn't buy it? It's a probably a five to ten dollar card in this condition. Alrighty, last but not least, Top Stadium Club Bean Team, Michael Jordan. So, when I first saw it, I was like, you should probably get this out of here. Um, I did spend a lot of money with Jeff, though, so I think that's why he kind of let it go. But I did tell him a couple times, put this in your showcase. But he did show me, though, that it does have some damage, and that's why he had set it out for just to basically get rid of it. Um, so the camera will work a little bit there. See? Yep. Right there. Um, definitely a crease. For a dollar, though, if this card was literally bent in half, I would buy it. This is uh, in good condition. This is probably a $50, $60 card. Um, I imagine this would get at least 15, 20 bucks. I, I did say in my original video 30 to 40, but that's kind of aiming a little bit high. But I, I could easily see this getting 15 to 20 dollars in that condition. Um, so I was pretty happy at that price. Um, and then again, you know, I did spend 50 dollars with him on all these cards. So um, as long as he's happy, I'm happy. Let's just put it that way. I think we both. Uh, did good, you know, buying and selling from each other that day, or me buying from them that day. Alrighty, guys, so thanks for watching here, and I'll be doing more videos today. And uh, please go ahead and like, please go ahead and subscribe. JMichael8787 on Twitter, J Squared Cards, and more on Facebook. Uh, thanks to my buddy Jeff for giving me some nice deals on those Jordans, and we'll be doing more videos here today.